I have been lucky, lucky in those who were around me from the boardroom to the dressing room. In times of stress, their unstinted support, unbroken devotion to our club, and calmness in adversity eased the task of making Rangers Football Club the premier club in this country. To be a Ranger is to sense the sacred trust of upholding all that such a name means in this shrine of football. They must be true in their conception of what the Ibrox tradition seeks from them. No true Ranger has ever failed in the tradition set here. A very success, gained you will agree by skill, will draw more people than ever to see it, and that will benefit many more clubs than Rangers. Let the others come after us. We welcome the cheese. It is healthy for us. We will never hide from it. Never fear. Inevitably, we shall have our years of failure, and when they arrive, we must reveal tolerance and sanity. No matter the days of anxiety that come our way, we shall emerge stronger because of the trials to be overcome. That has been the philosophy of the Rangers since the days of the gallant pioneers. Episode 2 of uh, Rebuilding Rangers. I do apologise again for not having any videos out over the last four days now. Since I'm recording this on Monday night, just I haven't really been feeling well. As a I had, I did tweet it out. There was a chest infection bug going around, and I kind of got the. I didn't want to record videos when I was kind of feeling uh, lethargic. I suppose you would have to say it was that I could feel the symptoms of it, but after four days, I haven't got it. So I'm taking a risk. So when we last left off after the. Ooh, Hamilton game. Yes, there we go. Where Herrera, Kilty, and Jordan Thompson scored. <coughs> We've been on a run. Uh, Rapid Vien came first. Herrera and Bruno Alves with Kilty getting sent off. Give us a 2 0 going into that one. Then we got Jorgen Strand Larsen. It started to go on about. He decided he was going to start waking up and score goals now. So he scored goals for us. Uh, then we played. Zarinsky, where again we thumped them 4 1 in the first leg. Then Cardoso and Herrera just put Dundee to the sword. And then we've just played the second leg of Jorgen, sorry, Zelinski Sports Club of, I think they're the Czech or Croatian division, I'm not quite sure. In there somewhere. Where again, Jorgen Strand Larsen decided, I'm going to score goals. So, there. So today we've got Patrick Thistle and a game against Morton coming up. Our group, we've got a group of death. Literally, there's no way we're getting out of this group without a miracle. We have got CSK Moscow, Paris Saint-Germain and Atletico Madrid. Yeah, we're not getting out of our group. But, that'll be fun because we'll get money generated in as it stands our finances are extremely good we are 10 grand nine, 8 grand and something over our wage budget but come what may yeah Shh. I've already lost 393 quid I can go to my bank on Thursday and pay it that's fine our expenditure what was the expenditure? Scouting costs apparently was our only expenditure last month. We spent nothing else. And we generated no income. So, in the last month, we lost 383 quid. One of the players could have, you know, put it back in. Anyway, we'll get into this. Could also take an armband. I'll take you through the team. Alongside the Thistle team. Yeah. Anyhow, there we go. For our team, it's uh, Larson is starting again with Herrera up front. Jamie Borjanis comes in as the attacking midfielder with a new signing. We'll speak about him later. And Greg Kilty, as I'm going to call him, maybe Alan. Yeah, Alain. Alan will do it. Uh, Jordan Thompson, one of the youngsters, he has been playing out in the wing for us, has actually done quite well. He scored as well, he has indeed. So he gets his defensive midfielder role today with Miguel, who's actually played extremely well for a youngster coming in with Dijan, Cardoso, Tavenia, 
and I'm taking a risk by putting Alnwick in goal. I'm just hoping now we can defend and outscore them. For Patrick Thistle, they have Miles Stories up front. Miles Story, not Stories. With Lawless, Edwards and Kennedy behind him as a bit attacking three. With Bangingham and Osman in midfield. With Garfoot, Narinsky, Naritinsky, Davin, um, Devin and Ralston as a back four with Thomas Cherney in goal. And we'll get straight into the team talk. Again, boom. They had no particular thing. We've been, I don't know, quiet. Is, as a team, we've been winning. But it just seems that when it comes to team talks, they're kind of like, yeah, we'll we'll go for it. Yeah, he's a true centre back, centre back, a true servant to the club. Uh, he's just been rested, guys. Jeez, oh, um, creating faith in them to do a job. Adam Barnes just administrative purpose. Oh, it's Adam Barnes. I'm just focusing on what we can do because we're better than them. So off we go for the. Non essential highlight. It's Cardoso. There we go. I'm about to say Cardoso gives it to Kilty. I'm already throwing in a tackle. I'm liking it. Well, oh, two tackles in. Then within four minutes. Really putting the pressure on already, possession wise. Three tackles have now gone in. Jamie Borjan is, is throwing himself. I think that's Jamie Borjan. He's absolutely throwing himself into tackles. Why are you looking nervous, Kilty? Calm down. Oh, a shot each. Starting to play their way into the game. But we are absolutely dominating them on possession. I think number 33 is actually Strad Larson. He's looking very motivated. There's where our fouls are coming from. Get a big guilty decides. Nah, too nervous for this game. I'm out. That's really put spanners in work. Alan, he's actually delivered good crosses in. Ooh, Cardoso just can't keep the header down. But as you can tell by the table, Celtic lost in the opening day to Dundee, actually, I think. But they've been striding their way back up the table. But Hibs have stuck with us the whole way through this. As Tavnir cuts out the throw into Herrera. Uh, cuts it to Borjanis. Who so tries to find Larson, who can't quite read the screen the pass. But he's caught through anyway. Oh, that should have been a that should have been thumped into the back of the net. Well, well, well. Not a lot I can say about that one, Miguel. To Alan, luckily it does come up with Alan. Don't have to keep remembering his name. Borjanes finds, tries to find Kilt. He can't. Back to Borjanes to Alan, who comes across. Can't. Tries to do a daisy cutter. Can't. Thompson, bit of good defending there. Kennedy, Alan cuts him out well. Borjanes, oh, funny feeling he's getting changed at half time. That's a mistake. If that leads to a Patrick Thistle goal, we are in trouble, and I'm guessing it will. Miguel, what a tackle that was! It's not over yet. The highlight continues, which, judging by experiences in this game, means that Patrick Thistle are about to score. Although we've come away with the ball, so that ruled out that theory. Herrera, run, and run, and run, keep running. He smashed it somehow dodge two players. Borjanis don't take the shot. He does. Never mind. Jamie Borjanis might have made a mistake. He nearly to a goal. But then he has just thumped one into that corner. Right into the back of that net. Herrera. This is a bit of skillful play. A bit of silky skillful play. Just sells to the dummy and the hot dog. Borjanis just thumps it past Cherney for top bins. Told you. Our job today is to outscore and out defend Patrick Thistle. He has made a lot of mistakes today, but you know he's looking a bit calmer. He's got his goal. He's only had one shot on target, although they've had none. So, hmm, uh, Greg Kilty's probably is going to come off. Maybe. Borjan has somehow actually does enough to get that across. Strand Larson. Oh, he's made a few mistakes as well, but he does that. He makes mistakes in some games and he wakes up, but that's a nice ball through to Story. There's no one there. Almwick. Nah. Should have got to that one. 1-1. One, one. Miles Story was never missing. Not what we needed. Unfortunately, Stran Larson makes it Devin to Ralston, and it's Ralston just lumps it upfield, really. Splits the defence. Story's through. Almwick should do a lot better than that. A lot better. He's wanting first team football, but... That's kind of not how you get it. 6.4 for Larson Tavenier. Can he come up with a free kick? He can. Never mind. No panic there. It's 2-1. Instant reply from us. This is what I'm talking about. 
Tavernier, instant reply, edge of the right in the D, top bins. He was never missing that. We scored with the first shot on target. I think to be fair, so did we. So hey ho. But um yeah. We are starting to dominate them all. <laughs> Two minutes after them, Dundee are winning, and it's a Desmond at Leith. So, just a wee bit of surf, come on. Far from pleased what I've seen from that team. I I do apologise there, um, Tavenier. I really do. Might have heard a vibration, it was the phone. Nah. Has he got it set to vibrate? Are we not going to hear the phone? You might hear the phone. You never know. Could be one of those days when the phone never rings. Borjan is he's found Herrera, who's on forum. Oh Herrera. I, I I used to play as a goalkeeper and I'm even disgusted by that. That was disgusting. Thompson don't know what he's doing down there. He is way out of position, but he does enough to thing me the uh, help the attack out, Tavenier. To Kilty, what's Kilty going to do? Find Serrera, bang! 3-1. Now we just need to get Larson on the score sheet. On all three attack attacking players that we have effectively got on the pitch. They've all scored, but Jordan Thompson, it's between Kilty and Tavenier on the end. We just keep this going. It's Kilty to Tavenier, Tavenier back to Kilty, Kilty to Herrera. Herrera to the back of the net. 3-1. We continue. Those will be a couple of youngsters I think are going to come on for the Morton game. This is where they got to run out in that team. Right now I don't want to make any changes although Kilty could come off maybe. He gets looking composed in a 6.9. I like it. And again, Lawless is looking frustrated. So is uh, Devon. He's come off now but now Osman is. I'm going to make the changes. Osman's starting to look a bit frustrated out there. We've banged in 12 tackles. We've only had t we've had 15, 10 of them been off target. That's not. I don't like it. To be fair, even Allen's looking composed. We're looking relatively calm. Oh, okay. That signified the Greg Kelty change. I was looking for an excuse to bring him off. And uh, looks like Gaffrot's gone as well. I wonder if there was an instant between the two of them. Candias Cardoso, Candias Mills most makes an instant uh, impact into the game. Do I take Larson? That's three minutes to go. No point in taking Larson off. Last moment. He's just having one of those. He's banged in four goals and a few appearances now. He's just. He's showing his camera shy. He's banged them in. I can't take it away from the boy. He's, you know, he's scored two games in a row. I can't really not put him in. Might have a bit of luck again. Oh, I can't. I'm going to have to rest him for the thing. As Herrera comes in, is he going to cross it across the box? He does. Finds a line. And somehow that's going in. It's a Ralston known goal. Somehow that went in the back of the net. Oh my days. This is not going well for Patrick Thistle. I think they thought when it was 1 1, we're in this game. Condeas to Herrera. See, I thought he was going to cut this back. Right to Larson. Larson just stands there. Alan's there. But somehow he's just headed it off Ralston. It's going in. 4 1, Rangers. Now you can look a bit complacent, lads. I'm not that fast. We're four one up. They're not going to score four goals in two minutes and a minute. There you go. Candias last kick of the game. Effectively, Herrera. Uh, there we go. The last header of the game goes to Herrera. Jerry's going to kick it, and the whistle's just going to go. Boom. Yeah. There you go. And the uh, Ibrox crowd have gone in ecstatic. Yep. Routine win again. Passionate, yeah, very happy. There we go. Five appearances, four goals. I can't. No, he's he's scoring every other game. Yeah. So in between, we're quickly going to have a look at this new player, Alan Orizan. Orizan. Maybe someone can correct me in the comments. But he was our he's our last transfer of the season unless we have anyone majorly, majorly go out. But again, it's not so much a rebuild now. We've we've kinda didn't need to do much of a rebuild. It's now just kinda shaping it my way, if that makes any sense. 
Oh, oh, come on screen. Come on screen. Come on screen. Come on. There we go. Uh, I didn't see anywhere. Right. Uh, see, uh, 24 hours for him. He's going nowhere. Um, well, we have our two attackers. Unless I've sent him out on loan. No, I haven't. He's still here. So he might come in. But anyone's what know about this. Is Alan. Arzen. There's three bonuses. There's also something tied to him. And I can't quite remember what it is. Is I think it is if we win something they get an extra three hundred thousand or something. But he already in these two games he's been Mr. Consistent. You know, seven point zero on the nose. He's been Mr. Consistent these first two games. He comes in already. Look at this those stats though, three and a half star. He's obviously twenty four. He's not got a lot about him star wise. When you look at his technique for what we play him as there. As that winger, he's acceleration pace, stamina's all good, crossing's good, it's all in the tops, free kick thing, and even stick him on free kicks. He's got good long shots, so he can cut in if he wants to and take a pop. He's got good, excellent, his marking's a bit suspect. The uh, passing's good, his technique's good, work rate, vision, teammate, flares, average, which is good enough. His concentration probably needs a little bit more, but he makes it up with his good decisions. He's not very aggressive, but he is brave. So, and he's got good composure, I and mean, his physicals are good. He's got one, he's got maybe, f yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven areas it could have done with improvement to make him a, probably a five star player. But he's good for what we need. Alright, he's going to outweigh his bill for us. So, I'll see you all for the Morton game. Hi, guys, and we're back. So, it's a rotated side. Uh, sort of, yeah, as say so as just due to the fact is that a lot of internationals are happening. That runs out now on international. Uh, Herrera's travelling, and so is Morales whilst being injured, but he's back in two days, so it should all kind of tie in quite nicely. So the rotated side is Knox and Evans up front. Kind of swapped them over with Holt. Now is a shadow striker with Windas, Candias, Nielsen, Wallace, Bates. Bruno Alves and Anderson and Fodringham. Uh, I don't trust Bates just that much. There we go. Wilson then. Anderson, Fodringham in goal. And on the bench is Kelly. Instead of Almwick, who has been rested. Uh, yeah. I'll do Bates, Dorans, Quintongo, Cardoso, Gian, and Kelty. Going to always, are going to be kind of a right to striker uh, option. I kind of like confusingly looked at my screen and realised there is actually no one else in this room. Anyway, for the Morton team is Nicky Clark up front, former Rangers player with uh, Russell and Tony Dingwall. I think he's on loan from Ross County. He is not. He's actually contracted to them. With Chris Burke, another ex-Ranger. With Forbes and Andy Murdoch yet again, another... Uh, Former Ranger player, former former youth player, uh, had a few games in the old Division Three. Strap, Lamy, Kilde, Doyle, and Gaston make up the back five. And obviously, you know what our thing is, our team is. Bruno always looked to gain confidence. You were hang on, mate. You're only playing Morton. Calm down. There we go. Matthew Knox looked happy. Good enough, Matthew Knox looks happy. Um, somebody's on my plan, so it's frustrating he's not available. Yeah, I think there was a day so we'll look at the wrong bodies of facts where we had to do this. Yeah, it is, because he's he's a good player. Yeah, he's just being arrested. Yes, a great lad to have around the club. And I'm kind of standing up for the player a wee bit, so he feels like I'm going against the governing body and it's the rules. Because we couldn't get Alan signed, but I'm going to try and I'll probably take Chad Evans out, and Chad Evans will be pissed. But um, so we well we've got a full, fully fit squad whilst they don't. That's him coming forward, strap to Russell, back to strap. It's in the box for Burke. Burke can't get there. Doyle, Murdoch, Forbes, to Russell. Dingwall tries to get through, can't hold, can't get much on it. Forbes to Burke. 
we got a tackle in here, lads. Hope, come on, Windass. There we go. You just signed a new contract, Evans. You've played a lot higher teams than that, Candias. To Holt. Oh, Forbes gets back to him, but he's missed out. Knox is out. Surely 1 0. It is indeed. Matthew Knox scores his first goal of the season. The youngsters are starting to score goals for us, and I'm liking it. It's a wee bit of mismatch here, actually, because Holt misses. I don't know how he manages to lose the ball, but does. But then Strap loses the ball. Knox is there. Knox taps it in for 1 0. <laughs> Looking quite good. Already, they're starting to tire right at the back as well. Straps looking quite tired, so obviously we are taking the right decision to have a fully rotated squad for this game because only their bench is looking good. But obviously we can counteract that because we've got a fit bench to a point. Oh, noise! It's my Xbox. If you can hear that kind of buzzing noise, it's probably my Xbox, which is right beside my mic. Don't you? Professional le levels, minimal around here, but phone's not gone, which is strange. Anyway, Kandias up with the header. Evans is all the way back. Holt playing striker all of a sudden. Can he feed Matthew Knox? He can. Can Matthew Knox score? He can't. That is a corner. We have been a sort of deadly. I want to say, but it's a box, a box, a ball into the box, a long way into the box. I'll get there eventually. No, it's out for a th no, no, it's not. I was out for a throw in, just not. We're not seeing it. No, we are looking, still looking good. We're dominating them kind of all over the field. We're still throwing in the fouls. But we are slowly getting our team back together. Nielsen comes in as a kind of. He was a backup in case Rossiter left, but Rossiter still here. Which, in a way, is annoying, but. In a way, it's not. Matthew Knox tries his corner. Can't. Nielsen to Holt. Somehow that it's offside. But I say somehow that went into the back of the net, but it is offside from Danny Wilson. But it's showing that we're looking good. Forbes knocks header out only as far as Russell. No one's there to claim it. He does get a bit of deflection, I think, off Knox. Back to Russell, to Lamy, who's with him, to Murdoch, to Dingwall, to Forbes. Fodding him over, smashes the bar. Wallace keeps it in play just. Only as far as Doyle smashes it back in, Wallace is there for the header. I think Windass got onto that, but it was good, good defending in the end. A very difficult, difficult situation. We're winning up. Should be a lot more than that, but they are kind of seem to be defensive minded at the moment. Uh, still happy, happiest with the improvements. We won't keep Jai on just yet. They will be coming on. Dylan Dykes, I think, is another ex Ranger. I think pretty much Morton's turned into mini Rangers at the moment. They've got players from every era at Rangers Nicky Clark, Chris Burke, Dylan Dykes, Andy Murdoch. I'm half expecting to see a player we sold, you know, like go in the summer, like Kenny Miller turn up or Nico Cranshaw, just, just because. Uh, there was a, you probably did see when we were going through the days again of a transfer deadline window came and went and there was no report. That's a penalty. Um, it's because nothing happened. We didn't buy. No one came in. I just tried to loan out Liam Kelly and the Bates. Obviously they didn't go out. No one else came in. So, big Bruno to make it 2-0 to pretty much seal our Victory, can he? He can. Bottom corner. Bruno Alves, he's up to three already this season. <coughs> We're looking in a strong position. That's nice. Cool run up, bang. Bottom corner, power, pace. Pace, power is the exact same thing, Dom. Mm. Plenty of pace, a little bit of power. There you go. Uh, right across the bottom, just out of the keeper's reach. No problem. Right, we'll give it to the 65th minute and we'll take Windass off for uh, Jai Kundungo. Keep Just keep Chad Evans on, he's a run out now and then. But that'll do it. And we'll put on Jai for Josh Windass. He can kind of play out there. So, I'm hoping so anyway. I really hope so. I think so. I've kind of bought him for out there. 
because I was in, I was in need of players and I got an abundance of wingers and I don't know what to do with them all. Well, because I got rid of, I've got plans. I think I explained it in the first. If not, Dorans and Holt are now going to become my attacking midfielder because I was got rid of Pena and Cranchar, Windass, and there's the phone. Now it's coming. And Allen will be my main with Jai coming in and out. Same with Kilty, he's going to be on the other side for Candias. As we look to seal a. As, oh, Cherry Evans just hit the. Somehow that's going in. Is that Candias? Candias scored. It's an own goal, actually. Mark Russell. 3 0. Two own goals, two games. 3 0. You can see it's a sham. It's a bit shambolic defence. Suicidal defender Nielsen. He crosses it in, Evans has just heads it, and then after that, Russell, somehow, it's Kat Candace's boot has rifled it off of uh, Russell, but Nielsen, he's at it again, this time, he does find Shed Evans, and Shed Evans this time does score 4-0, 2 in about 2 minutes, nah, 3 minutes, there you go, that's what happens when you play a fitter team. You don't rest your players. Nielsen, it's a nice ball in. Evans just does, has to do a little bit of work to take it away from Forbes. Does so. Back of the net. We have dominated them and we're not finished. We've got 30 seconds and we are not finished. Kandias to Evans. That's going to be five before the end. Knox is through. Oh, Matthew Knox rifled that one against the post. I'm sure the eye brought. Actually, it's not. I think, is it Parmesan's? I think it's Parmesan's. This Holt slices through the back of McManus. Knox. Quintongo's there, uh, Quintongo's there, he's there, is he going to make his old club pay, he's offside, unlucky, and that'll be the final action of the game, <clears throat> it was a good intense few minutes there, showing that we're working right up to the final whistle, good to see Quintongo, I mean, I've got a bit of a start, he did end well, to be quite honest, no, he did, ish, um, yeah, uh, the whole Allen thing has not um, spilled over into the first team, so the really good are the true players will try to put out there and see exactly what now dynamics within a squad does this season and how important morale is. Because if you saw us kind of at the start, we were struggling in our fixtures. But obviously, we were not so much struggling come the Hamilton game, but we were... It doesn't reflect just how much of a struggle that 3-1 was and that 2-1 was and then the 2 0 nils were, to be quite honest. It was a it was frustrating, shall we say. Because of the I think it was the whole penna thing. Penna thing kinda dipped us a wee bit, but you can see it's all green. So the next games will be we're not gonna do CSK Moscow. We will do. We won't do the quarter final. Uh, we will do, since it's a big club, we'll do the big clubs. I know CSK Moscow will probably outpower us as well. But we'll leave them. We'll do athletic, We will do Ross County and Paris Saint Germain. So let's have a look at the Paris Saint Germain squad actually. Okay, I know it's our second season, but who is still in here? Trap, Meunier, Meunier, Marquis. Yuri, Piera, uh, Korchovic, Rabo, Mbappe, Neymar, and Gades. Yeah, we're we're dumped out. It has to be said. Transfer history. Wow. Well, obviously that one was coming in. They have brought in uh, Kasper Dahlberg. We all know about Eremenko, uh, Grimaldo, and Piera. But we've got rid of Julian Draxler. That's kind of a ongoing realistic transfer that actually happened. Um, yeah, they've spent two hundred and twenty-one million. Most of that was one player. Wow, compare that to us. We spent about six. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you all for the Ross County Paris Saint Germain game. Until next time, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe below. Until next time, guys. I'll leave these and leave these. And it's bye for now.